Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm talking security for your Tesla. How secure is your Tesla? Is there anything you can do to improve security? Tips and tricks today. Let's get it. So just how secure is your Tesla? Well, out of the gate, the great news is that your Tesla is incredibly secure, incredibly difficult to steal, and a little bit pointless to steal, really. If you think about a Tesla with all the way it's tracked and linked back to Tesla, there's not really much point stealing a Tesla unless you were going to take it around the corner and strip it for its parts. So there's two main methods of getting into your car and these are your phone and your key card. There is a key fob as well which you can buy from Tesla but I don't have one so I'm not going to include that today. So let's talk about the phone first. This works off Bluetooth so you can have your car set and I'll show you this in a moment to be so that you can walk up to the car and it will open and you can walk away from the car and it will lock and it knows this because Bluetooth has come into range with the car and I out of range with the car. So I'm going to give you a tip on this soon on how to improve security around Bluetooth with your phone. The other method is the key card. Now this works off RF or near field communication. So you have to be right up to the door pillar to use this. Now, does it work in a relay attack? Well, there was an article that came out in September, 2022 that said a relay attack had been proven where you could use, you needed two attackers. So basically what happened is somebody would be right up to your car with a little device. The other person would trace you down the road with their phone or another device they had. They'd have to be right up to you to get communication from from your phone or your card which would send a signal back to the car it was a very contrived situation and in reality it's kind of unlikely to work i think you'd see somebody coming up to you and following you shoving a phone in your back pocket so what does that mean for security? Well, any security system is only as strong as its weakest link. So imagine you use the card every day. That's your method of getting into your car and you keep it into your wallet. So if somebody steals your wallet and has access to this card, they can take your car, it's gone. And in the same light with your phone, if you left it lying about and somebody picked up your phone and walked off, they can open your door, get into the car and drive off. So I've got two methods for you which are gonna make life a lot safer with your Tesla. Now the first tip comes to Bluetooth security and automation to make life simpler. So we've seen posts on the owners groups where people have said, I definitely locked my car last night, but when I've come down in the morning, someone's been in it, the door was opened, I've checked the CCTV, somebody walked up to the car, opened the door and got in and took something. I know I locked my car what has happened here. Now this always comes down to Bluetooth. Now you can think that your phone is far enough away from your car. So you might be in a different room in the house and you think, I'm far enough away from my car so that these two things shouldn't be able to talk to each other. Now the problem is at night, the atmospheric pressure changes, uh, nobody else is around using devices, there's no other signals interfering. And you can find that that Bluetooth connection can just operate from a little bit further away. So my first small piece of advice is to say check yours at night wherever you leave your phone overnight wherever i leave my hat that's my home stick your phone down there and then go off to your car at night and just check the door and see if you can actually get in or not maybe even just put it a little bit further away see what happens see how close your phone has to be at night and do it through the day just to actually get into your car so in terms of through the day or even at night for bluetooth placement this is quite possibly the sort of distance away from your car that you remain in the house maybe a room or two away so what i'm going to do is i'm going to place my phone on the window there or just slightly further away. So that sort of references about where you may be sat in your house on an evening away from your vehicle. So I'm just gonna run out now and just check to see whether the car will unlock like this. Back in a moment. So no, the car does not unlock from that range, which is fantastic. For most of you just sat in a living room, uh, a little bit away from the car at night, it's not going to automatically unlock. So I'm stood right outside my car here, and as you can see, it's unlocked because I have my phone in my pocket. So how long will it be when we step away from the car, do you think, before it locks itself? So let's just start walking away. Car is still open. Still open. And there it goes. 
So I'm just going to count how many paces I am away from the car now. So that can sort of give you an idea. And this is it in completely open field of view. There's no walls, obviously, between me and the car. So that's about the distance that it's locked. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 paces away from the car. The second bigger tip is about automation. So what I do with mine is every night I turn Bluetooth off and in the morning I turn Bluetooth on. Now you might think, I ain't remembering that. There's no chance I'm gonna to remember to do that overnight. Well, I use an application on my phone which helps with automation. I don't do this myself. And this application is called Macro Droid, and I'd just like to show you this now as we're talking. So what I do is I go into Macro Droid, and you can set up a macro, and this is just a task which says, if I do this or if this happens, then make this happen. So in my case, I have two tasks, Bluetooth off, Bluetooth on. So I say, if it comes to 11 p.m. every night of the week, turn Bluetooth off. If it comes to 9 a.m., every morning of the week, then please turn Bluetooth back on. So it's all automated, I don't need to do that. So I know that through the night, my phone has zero comms with the car. Now the second tip for me should be a really obvious one, but I think a lot of people still don't use this because they see it as a bit of a pain. If you go into the safety menu in the car, there's an option there called pin to drive. Please, please everyone enable this option. It adds about two seconds to the process of getting in your car and driving it away. Now, this overrules everything. In the case of somebody takes your card, they get into the car, they can't drive away, they don't know your pin, it's gonna stop them in their tracks. They're probably just gonna get out and run away. If somebody takes your phone, same thing. They can't get away in your car. For me, this is the ultimate. This is the last line of defense in the car. If all else fails, pin to drive should save the day. Please, please enable this in your car. Another excellent little feature here for security is car left open notification. So you can see I have mine set to doors and windows. So after around 10 minutes of your car is unlocked, you will get a notification through on your phone telling you that your car is unlocked. This is an excellent feature. We've all done it. We've all unlocked the car through the application and then forgot to lock it again. And then the app notifies you that you've left your car unlocked and you can resolve that issue. Excellent little feature. Please do use it. Do you already turn off Bluetooth overnight? Do you have pin to drive on the car? I'd love to hear down from you in the comments. How do you feel about security on your Tesla? Do you worry about it? Do you not worry about it? I'd love to hear from you. Do let me know. So do I worry about security with my Tesla? Absolutely not. I didn't worry about security anyway with my Tesla, but it's those two things that really make me feel very, very safe and sound with the whole thing. Pin to drive. That's the ultimate for me, but then turning Bluetooth off overnight, I, I just know the car's not available for somebody to get into. It's not just about theft of the car, it's about somebody getting into the car. You never know who's about, and you just wanna know that there's nobody who can just walk up to your car, try the door, and just get in. So Bluetooth off overnight. Now it would be rude to talk about security of a Tesla without at least mentioning sentry mode. So mine there is switched to on, and I do exclude home. I've got CCTV at home, so I really don't need to rely on sentry mode at home. So I've got clips of one minute length. So when you leave the car, as it says there, sentry mode will be enabled when you leave the car. This is all cameras are watching and recording. So if anything should happen, it gets recorded. Events are recorded to the car's USB drive. So let's say someone comes up through the night and tries the doors, that will be tripped on the system. The cameras will pick it up and record that. Sentry mode is fantastic. It's just that thing that says to people, this car is watching, avoid this car. Can someone get into the car? Yes. You know, if someone comes up and smashes the window, they can get inside your car, but it's all recorded and they're not going to be able to drive away anyway because pin to drive. This video has helped you with your Tesla. I'd love to hear about it down in the comments and please like and subscribe for more and I hope to see you back for the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Well, that's it for today's video. If you've learned anything, any tips and tricks, oh, it's so windy and cold. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are in a very... I'm going to show you how easy it is to steal a Tesla Model 3. There we go.